Mikey D4 here we're back again. Pretty much this is a tutorial how to install the Silent X EFZ80 HA3. You're gonna need a couple things. Um, you need some thermal cleaner. This is really good stuff. Your heat sink thermal compound, a screwdriver, just make sure. And here is the Biostar H61ML. This is a micro ATX form factor, very small, very good. Um, so let's just uh, Let's just try to do this real quick. The thing about these plastic screws are very uh, pain in the rear, so you need a screwdriver, just a, a flathead. Turn, turn, turn. So they just pop off. One thing I don't like about these things, man, they that goes off. This thing has a copper slug, a little bit not too good. So you're gonna clean this off. So here's your 1155 socket. I haven't done it in a video so in a while, so I've been planning to do this, so I'm going to clean this off. Still is like gross. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm going to see if I could uh, remove this. Alright guys, this is Kim like 84 here back again. Pretty much I'm back again. Alright, you're going to tell right here I did clean off already the thermal compound. Um... Here's a uh, here's gonna do for Intel. Gonna need you're gonna do. What I will do is you see these little notches. There's inside. If for inside, you can't really see it, so it's narrow. For the inside of it, if you try slide it in, it's for 775. If you do it for outward, it's 1155, 1156. Just remember that, because these pins lock inside and all that. That's how you do it. So we try to rush this. I do apologize. Um, just do the same thing repetitively. This one hand is remarkable. So pretty much that's installed already. You need uh, four of these for her to secure it. It comes with thermal compound. I mean, use that. So what you're going to do is the retention place to hold it down right here, see that? So what I would do is face it this way to match the line to, uh, you hear that latch is going through? So it means it's secure already a little bit yet. It's not yet. What you have to do is, I'll show right, you guys, I'm back again. Last thing, I already put two them already. What you have to do is you get the notch, put it in the hole, lift the motherboard up, make sure it slides in there and it's ready to go. That's it. Very simple, very secure, better. If you're going to use AMD, you use this and use the stock bracket to lock it down. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're going to install it. We're going to remove this. What I would do for uh, for the putting thermal compound, I'll do the X method. Very pea sized grain. I normally spread it, but I'm gonna try this out. This stuff is like really good to mess around with, and easy to. Should be plenty enough right there. Just testing it out. Alright guys, you uh what you do with this stuff I would do is move that. Alright, gotta 
hurry up. I'm running out of film. So you do this. You mount. Alright guys, I'm sorry I'm back again. This is really a pain to do by one hand. What you do is you, because I have a ferro choke right here, plus I got the ram chip in the way. It's kind of annoying. What you have to do is you have to pivot it one way and then force it down the opposite way. So I did it this way. You can tell the bang of my finger out because of that. Now it's completely ready to go. Alright guys, this is kind of like it for you guys. Alright guys, this is Kamaki D4 here back again. Pretty much I installed it already. I came to a hiccup due to the fact that this motherboard is reversed. The mother RAM's up here instead of on the side. It's kind of annoying. Um, just be careful. This is a pretty good core. This is for one of my workstations. Um, I was able to flip the other way around, but I was managed to be able to get it through a couple inches without interfering. Looks pretty nice, gives it a good theme. Um, just make sure you do it right. You throw the pins inside. It's really simple. It took me like 10 less than 10 minutes just to install it, put the thermal compound. Very good to go. I mean, that was really it. Really, really fast. That was remarkable. Alright, you guys. Um, you have any questions? You guys uh, PM me. If I do the best I can to respond back to you guys. See you guys a little bit later. This is Kim Lake 84.